For now, I want to share with you about the casting function. You can find the middle one icon from the home page and then click it. We can start with eShare function. If you're mobile, it's the iOS system. We can just do the AirPlay and we can mirror your screen to this display. For example, if you're mobile, it's the iOS system. We can just do the AirPlay to mirroring your screen to the display. We can find the mirroring function here and choose the device named Jector Classroom. And now you can see the screen mirroring here really smoothly. Also, we can use the app eShare, connect your laptop or your notebook or your mobile to connect to the display. For example, I click it and I open this app. I can find the device name so it can connect to the device and it will show up. For now, I can show you there is two icon here, share screen and the TV mirror. It means we can broadcast your screen to the display. Or I can take off this mirroring here to my mobile. Second icon for the app. You can find the screen from the display and your mobile can control it. For example, I can choose the pen usage function and the writing through the mobile. So I can control the display, just use my mobile. So this is really convenient for teachers use or corporations usage. Then I want to share with you about the setting function with the mirroring system. Here we can find the three icon here. The first one is display group setting. It means if you have two display up to two amounts, then you can group it. You can mirror your screen to the next display if they have device with the eShare system. So this is the group settings. The second icon is the moderator control center. It means teacher can use this function to control students' device, also then mirroring their content to a display or not. So for here, we can use the control like need authorization, it or not. And teacher can allow students' device connect to a display or not. So it's really convenient for teacher's control in the lesson. And the third icon is setting. So teacher can change the device name through this setting the first line, and then they can click it. I recommend you can enter the classroom's name or the lesson's name. It's convenient for teacher's usage more. And then you can use the multiple screen up to this amount different. It's like two screens to the six screens. So you can collect six screens on the display in the same time. So this is the mirroring function. Thank you.